Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be looking at SkyQ. Uh, first of all, I'll give you a quick uh, tour just around the SkyQ box. This is the SkyQ 1TB box. Um, Sky say that you can actually store 700 gigabytes of uh, TV on this box, uh, with the other 300 is going to be reserved for software and updates. Uh, now the previous Sky Q1 terabyte was only HD, but this new one uh, is now you can uh, you can watch and record UHD content, which is great. Uh, so let's uh, just have a look around the side. There's the viewing card in there on the side, and we'll now have a look around the back. Okay, so around the back we've got the power connection there, the uh, two connectors for the satellite dish, HDMI leads supplied by Sky in the box, one Ethernet port one USB port and an optical connection. And uh, just a word of warning, if you've got black glass, if you don't know already, it's a bit of a dust magnet, as you can see. For those of you who get uh, a little bit excited over measurements, so the Sky Key box is 33 centimeters wide, 21 centimeters deep, and just over four centimeters high. Okay, so before we get into SkyQ, just quickly show you the SkyQ remote. It's an improved from the last one, so it's quite slim. Two AAA batteries in the back. I'll uh, show you what some of these buttons do in the video coming up. Um, just a nice little touch that Sky have done. If you ever lose a remote control, if you press the Q button here and press it hold it down, hold it down. That will beep for about 30 seconds. Just press the backup button and it will stop. That's a nice little feature. Do like that. Okay, here we are at last, Sky Q. Let's just turn it on. Power button there. Take about seven seconds on this TV. Just wait for that. There we go, there's the home screen. So just quickly go through some of these buttons on the Sky Remote. So you've got the up and down channel there scroll left to right select there you've got the play and pause rewind fast forward now this will rewind and fast forward up to 30 times normal speed power button there there's your home button that's your backup that will bring up some apps on the tv not all the apps just for some reason it just brings up there we go just a selection of apps there just back to home Okay, so you've got the voice activation there, record, volume up and down, another button for channel up and down, uh, and there's your mute button. When you're watching any channel, this question mark button will just bring up audio description, subtitles, and then a selection of the Sky Help videos. Just press back up to come out of that, and then You've got the information button there, just tells you basically basic stuff about what you're watching there. Oh, sorry about that, let's come back out of that. Uh, and then you've got the search button there, where you can search by voice or text for any channel. You've got the interactive buttons there, red, green, yellow and blue, and then your numbered keypad to type in. If you know off by heart the, the number of the channel, then use that. Okay, so I was saying earlier about the uh, the apps with uh, this button with the three dots on it. So you get a selection of apps there. But just come out of that. If you go down, scroll down from the home page down to apps there. There's a lot more apps there to select from. Also, you'll have to have your own accounts for these individual apps. But that just gives you an idea of what you get. It's quite a selection there, not bad. Okay, so let's just go down. We've got some online videos, that stuff from YouTube. Uh, you've got your settings there, so that will tell you satellite signal, how good the satellite signal is, all good at the moment, your network connection. Now my SkyQ box is not enabled to connect to the SkyGo and I haven't got a SkyQ mini box so they're irrelevant at the moment. 
parental so you can uh, obviously have a pin to uh, manage what the children watch accessibility so yeah it's all things like that. all these all these uh, features I'm showing you there's loads of help uh, videos that Sky have uh, put on this so uh, there's just, they cover just about everything there is to do I'm just going to cover just basic stuff uh, manual tuning favorites things like that let's just come back out of that there's your help so yeah so you've got everything that you need to know really it's all there Yeah, look at that, it's a little video guide, shows you the remotes, how to use remote, all the buttons explained, using everything, recordings, downloading, it's all there, Ultra HD, your voice control, Oops. everything's there that you'll ever need. So I think we've covered just about everything there, so you've got the help here, the settings. So let's go down to setup. Select that again. Remote control. You can select which remote control you've got. That's the latest one. Uh, but you can, uh, yeah, you can just pair that with the Sky Q. Uh, if you've got, you can, uh, if you've got a Bluetooth device, you can link that up as well. Um, your sound and vision, so you can change the uh, picture quality. Obviously, this is an Ultra HD. Uh, TV, but um, you can change that to whatever you have. Let's come back to that in a moment. There we go. And then you've got normal Dolby Dig Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Atmos as well. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, great sound. Uh, okay, let's go. You've got your optical output. Delay the uh, if you get a problem with uh, someone opening the mouth and then a delay in the um, audio, you can change that. Just silly things like that. Preferences, standby mode, eco, so it goes into low power mode at night when it's not in, to, in use. Uh, so you can change the format of uh, the downloads. So the option is to auto download the next episode. You can select that to on or off. So once you record one episode, like I said before, it will automatically record the next episodes and, and the series as well. Uh, maximum number of recordings at one time is five. So you can actually record five shows at once, or uh, sorry, five shows at once and watch a sixth. But you can change that to record six at once and watch a seventh. But that's just the default setting there. I don't know if you'll ever actually need anything like that. Um, so, yeah. So, if you leave this autoplay on, as soon as you watch uh, an episode of uh, a program, uh, if the next episode is available, it will automatically play the next episode. And uh, yeah, automate record future episodes when they are aired. So that's on. You can change it on or off, and then obviously change the language. And uh, yeah, and going by uh, what you watch the most, uh, Sky will automatically uh, suggest other things you may be interested in, which is a great little feature there. Okay, all your recordings are listed there. Your most recent. All different categories for selecting different recordings all the recordings you've got scheduled any purchases you've made um, when I joined the sky VIP I got uh, an email from sky saying uh, for being a VIP member uh, they were treating me to uh, a selection of films for free so I could just download and keep which was great so I chose that one that is a that is a great film if you like that sort of thing uh, any rentals that you have uh, and you can manage the disk space, see how much disk space you've got left, what you've used, you want to delete anything. Let's go back to home. Let's catch up TV. If you want the full screen, just press back up. Back to home again. 
on demand. There is just a huge amount of TV to watch. It is just really, really impressive um, on demand. So you've got there featured, you've got all the Sky box sets there. Uh, Sky do integrate Netflix into your account, uh, which is a great idea, which I've done. That's a really useful thing to have. Also, the uh, content on the Sky channels, uh, yeah, is, is huge. I'll just show you that. So just press home. Scroll down to On Demand. Scroll across one and down to Sky Channels. And, yeah, you've just got great content there comedy arts crime history sky news sky nature all looks good in ultra hd as well some of it's in hd some in uhd but it will tell you it will tell you when you choose a channel there you go uhd there and hd subtitles the sky store is anything you actually want to uh, rent or buy Ultra HD, uh, it's quite impressive with that. That's good picture quality. Uh, obviously, you've got the Netflix in eight, uh, Ultra HD as well. Anything that's subtitled. Okay, so, so the voice activation. So if you just press and hold, just press and hold that and say the channel that you want and it will come up. Sky News. There we go. It's very quick. Okay, so when you want to record a program, if you press the record button once, it'll record that program and also record all the episodes, all of the following series that come on. Very good. If you press the so if you press the button once to do that, then press again, it will just then record just the one episode. So press once to record what you're watching and the rest of the series when it comes on and press again just to record the one episode it's a good little feature there and then my account you can manage your account your bills payments do everything there any upgrades you might want to pay extra for there's your sky vip back out of that so yeah that's just about everything really that's covered um yeah so quite impressive really uh, uh say so if you're if you're new to sky or you're coming back to sky i mean when you give them the ring just best thing to do is you know just say what you're willing to pay and see what they can do for you i mean uh, i found the customer service was excellent when i ordered this uh everything was Done when they said it was going to be done no no delayed visits on on my my order uh quite impressive uh the uh the engineer was uh you know knew exactly what he was doing uh didn't take very long at all he turned up about four o'clock in the afternoon it just started to pour with rain uh but he did the job it was brilliant and everything was set up and um that was what five weeks ago and no problems everything's great broadband's good so yeah quite impressed so uh yeah well thanks for watching and uh yeah hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it